Hello, this is Rajeshri of Soul Tuning. It is day 53 of my 90 day transformation in the raw. And today I want to talk about breaking routine. That's kind of what's happening for me. Not that routine is bad because there's a lot of order and ease. Um, makes it, it can make things very easy. But when you get stuck in these patterns of doing things a certain way that isn't serving you, right? So it's basically if you're stagnant or something's not flowing in your life, you kind of have to look at everything and reassess what is not working for me. And so you have to break those patterns, those habits, some of those routines that you've created and for the most part just to create new ones that will work for you and that's kind of what I'm doing with this whole not intentionally but that's how it's ended up going down somewhat somewhat intentionally right I set it in motion to an extent but so as of last week we moved and this week as of Sunday week eight I am implementing new movement exercise plan and uh, I don't like to say dieting because dieting your diet is not temporary but dieting diet has the connotation of doing something that's not gonna work and then you're gonna stop dieting and getting it all back so <laughs> it has a lot of heavy energy around it so I don't really like to say dieting but it's just a new way of eating right now that I'm be doing for the next three months to that with the movement, jumpstart my thyroid, jumpstart my metabolism, and make sure I don't get ran over here. It's like the one busy street. So, this new meal meal plan and it's going to be temporary um, but what I'm doing is alternating what I'm eating every month or excuse me every what I'm every day so in the past I would pick like five different meals and kind of just eat those by habit every every day of the week, right? Breakfast, I would have the same thing every day. Uh, lunch, I would probably snack. Dinner, I would alternate, but it'd probably be like the same three or four meals. Well, I'm kind of doing that in this program, except for it's more concentrated on certain days that coincide with my movement, my exercising. And introducing carbs, um, simple and complex carbs in a certain way and then taking them out completely and then introducing them back in. So, but within that, I've found a way to plan it all out and make it very simple to where all I have to do is like look at a sheet of paper and see what the meal plan is for today. And it makes it easier to do grocery shopping that way as well. And what this does is it helps you get your body unstuck and start to churn up your metabolism and, and get it rolling again. Um, which makes a lot of sense because I was eating a lot less before, I wasn't taking in very many calories, and I was eating certain things, and I wasn't paying attention too much to what it was that I was eating so much. Like, how much fat am I getting? How much sodium am I getting? Things I've never done before. I just kind of hap hap haphazardly ate, and kind of saw what, oh, I wonder what this is going to do, and I ended up gaining a lot of weight. 
so now I'm actually eating more which is kind of bizarre for my mind not not too much more but I'm also exercising a little bit more as well so my brain with all this newness and changing up I'm realizing I have to retrain my brain checking out the new neighborhood there's some great houses here cute little cottages and what people have done with their little worlds super cute anyways I have to retrain my brain and I can't go on autopilot right now which is great it's making me more conscious of everything I have to literally look at the meal right which is on the piece of paper but when I plug it in for the day what exactly is in it right it's still easy and but it does take a couple seconds to get familiar with this newness and I just want to say that in that newness in that kind of like you know when a baby's brain is fresh it's just like a glob <laughs> literally it's really soft and moldable taking my brain and my body and my mind back to that state of being and reprogramming it in a different way is what I'm feeling is happening and it takes some some oomph in the mornings takes some inspiration to, for being alive and wanting to do this um, because my son I used to depend on my my brain or my mind kind of taking charge and being getting a hit out of getting up and, and what I'm doing or something and it doesn't have that right now it's all in the unknown so yeah that's where I'm in I'm in a fresh baby molding state or baby state brain molding mind melding state and it's good it's good it, there's a sense of youth to it the sense of beginner's mind you know coming to that place of I don't know um, it's a fresh start you know and it's I think it's so important to have these fresh starts throughout your life because that's truly what's going on there is change everywhere and keeps you inspired and youthful and and you get to try on new things so just want to share that with you break break those habits break those routines that aren't serving you bring yourself back to a a baby molding melding state and from that place discover newness try on new things and have fun with it have fun with all the newness because when you were a child and when you're a baby you didn't have it all figured out you didn't actually know what you liked you know you could still have some of that stuff but how fun would it be to rediscover things I mean I'm even doing that with my foods it's like I never really liked this before, but I'm gonna try it again. Like tomatoes by themselves, raw. I'm gonna try it again with an open mind and see what happens. See if I like them. And they were good. <laughs> so I encourage you to do the same. Freshen yourself up, take a new perspective of life and everything in it and discover what happens. Do it as an experiment and kind of just be the observer and see what happens to yourself and your, your world around you as you, kind of like that Jim Carrey movie, say yes instead of no to everything. Just kind of watch yourself doing that and try on yes or just, just don't say no, just stay open. So, thanks for watching. Leave your comments, 
subscribe if you haven't subscribed and we'll keep on keeping on every day seeing what it brings have a wonderful day blessings and much love to you